Hi, I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies. Today we're going to look at and test the Fairweather tab. Now, why am I testing the top of the line recurve tabs? The reason is mine broke. So I'm looking at a new one, or, or am I going to go back to the original one I've been shooting? So one of the problems I have with finger tabs is the finger spacer hurts my middle fingers. So between the center, <laughs> between the center where the um, tab goes, and it kind of hurts. And I thought, well, one of the most comfortable um, finger spaces is the Fairweather tab. It has this rubber ring system. And the ring is based on the size of your finger, so it's actually very, very comfortable. Now, the last finger tab I, I shot and tested was the Fivix Saker Plus. And that was like a glove on my hand. It kind of held your hand into, into position. And I experimented with different positions. But I was like, let's try something more simple. The Fairweather tab is very light and very small, so very compact in your hand, so it kind of just fits in. You don't have the adjustable shelf. With the adjustable shelf, it moves your hand up and down your face. And I had some sort of issues with that, getting this sort of tongue, my thumb, stuck into my jawline there, um, which I found comfortable. So let's try this out. Fairweather tab comes in all different ring sizes. The ring sizes are different for left and right. The tab comes in left or right-handed. It comes in large, medium, or small. I'm trying a medium. And one thing that's different, the first time I looked at the Fairweather tab, it had three layers of kangaroo leather. This one that I've just got has got one layer of leather, kangaroo leather, and then this soft black leather. I haven't seen that before on a Fairweather tab. So that's a bit different. I'm not sure why that is. It's the way it is. So let's just try it. And so sort of see how we find this tab but the ring is fantastic I wish the rest of the um, finger tabs had a ring like this I'm gonna say the gap between the center here is feels quite tight on the knock so if you're shooting a smaller knock like an Easter knock it's probably more suited if you're shooting a biter knock like I am you probably want to cut that out a little bit but look it's okay it feels feels okay it just feels a little bit tight between the between the groove there <coughs> so first thing with the difference between kangaroo leather and cordovan cordovan horse kangaroo kangaroos um, the kangaroo leather feels softer it feels thinner with the Cardovan um, leather, and I don't know if it is or isn't, with the Cardovan tab I used yesterday, I really couldn't feel the, feel the string pressure on my fingers. With this, I can clearly feel the str string pressure on the fingers. And I think last time I showed a fair weather tab, it had three layers of kangaroo leather, and that felt quite thick. This feels quite thin. Um, the tab feels quite good, like, I feel quite comfortable with it. With the Fivix finger tab, with all the adjustments, it felt like a felt like a release aid, and it felt clean coming off. But it felt like it was placing my arm, uh, my hand in a set position, where this feels more natural. Now. The way the kangaroo comes off the the string, I'm going to say the Cordovan feels like it comes off cleaner. I'm not sure why that is. And I'm not sure if it has any impact down there at the target. And that's why I'm doing this review on this tab. Um, there, were, there was a whole bunch of Olympians shooting the Fairweather tabs at the Olympics. Um, so I'm sure it's not the case. It's just what it feels like. The Fivix tab felt crisp off the fingers. This, like it feels okay, it just, it doesn't feel as thick in it. Like it, the leather, you can see the leather how it's folding over. With the Fivix leather, with the Cardovan leather, it's more straight and more rigid. So it's got more structure to it. Look.
I feel the pressure a lot more on my fingers with this tab. But I'm not feeling the pain between the joint, between the two fingers that I normally feel with the finger tab. And in fact, that's what broke with my win and win finger tab, the center, the setter finger spacer. It took four years to break, but that's the part that broke. Um, the Cardovan leather, after four years, was still good. But the rubber spacer in the middle was what broke. The fair weather just feels fantastic. But there's a fair bit of wind out today, so... I'm liking the simplicity of this tab. And often with a tab, this finger here kind of is sitting like that and I get a bit of wear on the edge of the finger and the large feels too large and the medium feels too small it's only a millimeter difference with this so far this is medium it's covered I can't see the edge of my finger I think it's because of the way they've shaped the tab so you can see most tabs the distance from there it doesn't move out like the Fairweather tab. You can see it actually grows in width as a tab goes out. So it's giving your finger more protection. Most are parallel. Um, so with the finger it gets, it gets a bit more exposed with the other tabs. With the way Simon, Simon has developed this tab, it becomes wider so it's sort of expanding out. I'm going to say I had issues with the shelf on the Fivix getting the position right. I was wondering whether I should move it down and put my thumb on top of the shelf. Um, where I found the shelf on the Win and Win really nice and comfortable. I'm finding this is simple. Like it's just a like a just a piece of plastic basically molded. Um, it feels okay it feels feels simple and feels easy now the fair weather tap retails for about a hundred dollars probably made up of Probably made up, I'm just making the numbers up. Probably made up of $40 for the ring and $60 for the leather and the little plastic spacer there. Now they also do this plastic thing in a brass, um, which I'd be interested in trying. Um, I'm really liking this tab because it's just so comfortable on my fingers. I always had problems with the other tabs like the it's normally got rope around your fingers and it doesn't fit very well around your finger and it kind of comes loose and never felt comfortable. This feels just so comfortable. It's, it seems too simple. Like it's... My hand's kind of going in where I want it to. The thumb's coming in. It all feels good. I kind of... I don't know if that makes any sense. I, I'm kind of looking for technology and complexity and maybe simple's best, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I'm just trying it. Now when you try different tabs and try different things, start off close to the target. I shot three arrows up closer. Um, my sights actually moved down because the shelf is actually lower, so my hand's coming in closer to my jaw than with the Fimix tab. And then I moved back, I'm probably about 15 meters now. So 
So it's close to 18, but, but I haven't quite moved back that far yet. Really feeling the pressure on my fingers. So I'm trying to I'm trying to experiment with new limbs. These are Fivix limbs, and in my poundage that 50 pounds. And this is the ATFX riser from Win and Win. I'm, I want to try the new Fivix riser with the Fivix limbs to compare the difference. But without a finger tab, I've got to try and get the finger tab issue sorted first. So once we sort the finger tab issue, then we can go back into testing different limbs and different risers and finding out which one I like the feel of. The thing I really like about this tab, I was having trouble from the very first shot with the Fivix Saker Plus about feeling where this hand was going in my jaw because it was so rigid which may have been a good thing it just because it may have been lining up my whole hand as opposed to curling my hand so instead of doing that it might have been kind of holding it more rigid which I would have said before but I found it quite unnatural for me um, now one of my staff uses the Seika Plus um, he shooting very well with it and this is the thing with archery gear one person might like one of one piece of equipment another person might like another I'm rather this um, shelf is kind of curved down a little bit I don't know if you can see the angle of it and it's fitting quite no nice underneath my chin it feels very comfortable Let's shoot the last arrow and see where those arrows are. So I'm up here at the target and look, the group's not bad. I've still got left and right, left and right groupings with these arrows. And that's what I've been in a fair bit of lately since I've gone to the ATF, F, ATF X riser. I can do some ends which are excellent. But I'm definitely getting left to right um, movement. Very little up and down movement, but lots of left to right. I don't know if that's the grip or my release or whatever, or my body position. Some groups are excellent. So my scores are varying from about 250 to 285. Is shooting indoor is what I've done with its ATFX since I've got it. The Titan limbs are only new. I've only shot literally since the review and this with it at 50 pounds, and I feel good. Um, this, the, the Simon Fairweather tab feels very, very nice to me. I like, I like the feel of it. It feels, feels great. Um, I'd probably like to, tr well, I'd probably like to try it with Cardovan. Not that there's anything against Kangaroo. Um, maybe I'd like to try it with two bits of Kangaroo rather than the one Kangaroo and one bit of this black soft leather. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this Fairweather tab. Um, they sell them worldwide now, so they're available pretty much everywhere. I'm going to say it's got the most comfortable uh, finger spacer you'll ever find. There is nothing like it. Um, it feels so nice in the hand. I had major problems with this finger here with my other tab. Like wearing, I'm not finding that with this tab because of the because it becomes wider. We're going to, look, I'm going to try some other tabs out before I decide on which tab I'm going to sh choose to shoot with. Um, and for a user choosing a finger tab, it must be a major 
consume because there's so many in the market and they're all like a hundred dollars each and it's like well if i try two of them i've spent two hundred dollars if i try once if i don't like them once if i try five of them and i don't like them you know like when do i stop trying um this is very very comfortable look i've shot a lot of finger tabs over my years in archery this is one of the most comfortable um i really like the cavalier or a finger tab i shot it years ago when i was younger really liked it and this is very similar to it except for the cavalier's metal there um it was very simple tab um <coughs> but i'm gonna say this rubber ring is unlike any other tab it just is so comfortable but the tab reminds me so much of the um, Cavalier finger tab shot by so many archers um, designed by Dick Tone like it was a like still made today obviously such a unique tab used by so many Olympians and this tab is so similar it feels to me to shoot um, that I really really like it so I'll be interested at the end of trying all the tabs out there whether I stick with this but at the moment I'm going to shoot a few more ends with this um, see if I can get that grouping tight tightened up and start shooting some decent scores um, yeah so anyway thanks for watching I'm Stephen Han um, have a great Christmas thanks for watching